swell. No, he does. Look at him. There he is now. Mickey Duff coming up with Tony Lang. It is a big test for Lester Allen. You overlook the fact that you forget that he's only 23 now. And he's really on the storming comeback trail. His last seven, 11 fights have been for 11 wins in the last three years. And seven of them have been inside the distance. What do you think of his chances tonight? Lesh has got a fantastic record, and uh, in particular as of late, in which he's stopped uh, most of his... He's, he simply keeps control of the fight. And there's Lester Ellis, 23 years of age, a very, very young man for those fights. 30 fights, 28 wins, 19 KOs, and of course that career highlight, the 995 victory in the IBF Junior Lightweight World title against Juan Kilyu. His manager is Keith Ellis, his brother, and of course he's a Melbourne boy. Standing by now to... Ladies and gentlemen, 12 three-minute rounds for the Commonwealth Super Lightweight Championship. 63.5 kilos the limit. Introducing in the red corner, the former IBF World Super Featherweight Championship. Champion, tonight scaling 63.5 kilos, right on the 10 stone limit. 29 out of 31 professional wins. Would you welcome to Adelaide, the master blaster of superficial punishment, Lester Ellis. <laughs> and reducing in the blue corner at 30 years of age, the Commonwealth super lightweight champion, tonight scaling 63.05 kilograms, nine stone, 13 pounds, with Mickey Duff, George Patrick, and Mike Grinsdell in the corner. London-based, former Jamaican, champion, Tony Lang. Tony Lang in the blue corner. <laughs> the referee stepping up to his first Commonwealth title fight, James Boland. He's got a lot of Caribbean cavalier about him, Tony Lang, and referee James Boland calls the two fighters together. Okay, boys, I've spoken with both you in the dressing room and your trainers. I want a good, clean fight. You know the scoring area of the body I expect you to score punches with. The neutral corner, one over there and one over there behind me in case of a knockdown. One of you boys a knockdown, I want the other one the same neutral corner until I call box again. Both clear? No questions? Shake hands now and start the last round. There's a, there's a lot hinging on this fight, Ron. There's chance of a, a world title fight at the end of this year for Lester Ellis. Uh, but first... He's got Tony Lang standing in front of him. Lester Ellis looks good. He looks, he just looks stronger to me than his opponent, Tony Lang. He looks really Seconds out. desperate Round to go. One. Here he comes. Round one. Very wide stance from the Jamaican-born champion, Tony Lang. Fights out of Nottingham now in England. Oh, a hard left hook to the head by Ellis, immediately stamping his authority on the contest. Swinging right hand from Lang, high over uh, Ellis's head. Ellis moves and uh, Lang hits him with that left again. 12 three-minute rounds the journey. That's the championship route tonight. The Ellis camp is certain that this extra weight will do nothing but good for Lester Ellis. It's... Lang backs away pretty easily, darts in. Okay, Doesn't do step very back, much. Step right back. Watch yeah. you come in, Tony. The referee, Jim Boland, has them break. Lead by Wang. Can they come into a clinch again. Graham Famishon watching very closely as a hard left hook comes from Tony Lang. He knows his way around a boxing ring. He throws the right hand again. He's got Ellis in a bit of trouble. Ellis tried to hold on to him then. Not a good sign. And Boland talking to uh, Lang about lifting his leg in close. Right hand now by Lang. Oh, is get a break, get a break. I, I think he's step been back, in a boxing ring right before. Back, right back, oh, yes. Uh, he knows all the tricks. I mean, 17 fights over a period of uh, 10 years and uh, certainly against class opponents shows that uh, he has been in the ring before. This is the left hook that time. Alice Rose back Get a break. Step back, step right back. Come on, step right back. Keep running in with your head in, Tony. And the referee telling the, the champion about dropping his head. Sharp right hand there by Lester Ellis. The 
crowd here in Adelaide sensing there's a contest. Ellis. Slight frown. Moves towards his opponent. Langs leads. Are away. The corner men over in the blue corner. That's uh, Tony Lang's corner. Shouting encouragement to Tony Lang. Mickey Duff is loud and vocal over there. Left hand by uh, Lang and he's off balance. Get right, get right. Claimed uh, Ellis. Step back, step back, step back. And no harm came to him. Jab by Ellis. No, come on. Step back. Ellis. Makes his opponent miss. That's good, Mr. Ellis doing that. That doesn't score points. Only punches landed score points. And I don't think he'll phase Tony Lang with that sort of act. And the bell for the end of round one. Tony Lang, Mickey Duff, offering advice. And uh, here are Lang stats, as we heard, uh, age 30. Turned pro in 1977, but over that period has actually only had, uh, as we see there, the 18 fights, 13 wins, three losses, one draw. Seconds out, round two. And uh, we know that he won the Commonwealth title last year. Second round of the scheduled 12-round contest. Points in the first round. John? I would have given that a, a, an even round. Uh, both of them were feeling each other out, yet on the other hand, they weren't uh, afraid to mix it with each other, and uh, both of, of them scored impressive left hooks during that first round. Getting a little rough in there as Ellis tried to pull Lang off balance. Lang look, looks, he, he is shorter, but he looks uh, also looks lighter, but uh, at scale time this afternoon, there was nothing between them. Left hand by, uh, by Ellis. Ellis having to take off a few ounces, actually. He took 30 minutes uh, after the initial weigh to make the weight, and uh, that does suggest that he's probably put on a little uh, since weigh-in time, and that actual ringside would be heavier. But uh, Lang's not uh, showing any uh, signs of uh, being phased by his opponent. Belting out that right hand. Amusing Ellis a little in that exchange, and the referee separates them. Ellis can't find the target with his left-hand lead. Get him free, get him free, come on, step right, step back. Referee calling for the step back, but neither one of them make the first move. Good right hand that time by Lester Ellis. Very quickly, Lang was in close, chest to chest, and not, a, not allowing Ellis to follow up any advantage he may have got from that one good punch. Lang changed his mind, he let just go a left, pulled it halfway through. Up he comes, oh, is that right step back, step back, step back. stays in close, and once again, the referee, now okay? uh, the referee I'm talking to uh, Tony Lang about a punch that went a little low. They're also evading pretty well at this stage, Ron. He's a shifty mover, Lang, and uh, Ellis is having a lot of trouble in picking up the range on him. Lang not forcing the pace, waiting for Ellis to come to him and scores with a left-hand jab. Once again, Lang just waiting for Ellis to come up to him. Now takes the lead to him. Scores a left hand to the body. Now a good left hand to the body by Ellis that time. But Lang moved quickly and moved away. Lang beats Ellis to the punch with a left hand jab and jabs again. He's a good left hand puncher, Lang. That's where his uh, points are going to come from. There it goes again. That left hook by Tony Lang. Defending his title tonight against Lester Ellis. Head up with they are waving their head around. It's that sort of fight. They're, they're moving, uh, trying to anticipate uh, the punches that are coming. As Lang moved down very low that time, uh, weaved around and made uh, Ellis miss. Up comes Ellis to Lang. Just missed him with that right. It was a good punch. Punch up there. Come on, punch up. Watch those heads in place. Come on. Left hand by the uh, Lang, staying in close to Ellis, and now cutting loose as the bell goes for the end of round two. And uh, how, of course, we saw that there wasn't much difference in the weigh-in this morning, but uh, the tail of the tape will tell the story as to who has the reach advantage, and uh, we'll find out shortly that uh, Lester Ellis is the man who does have that advantage. But Johnny first, how does Seconds it Seconds out, round oh, oh, three. Oh, they fought the same way as they did in the first round, but I leaned slightly towards Ellis because of his cleaner punching and his jab. Up now for round three. And Lang 
Stands up close once again to Ellis. The referee's working hard to have them step back. Cuffing away in close. No advantage there to either of them. Ellis. Not really, he's really falling into the trap of fighting the sort of sort of fight that, that Lang wants to fight. He's not really fighting an Alice style fight at the moment. He's wrestling with Lang and allowing Lang to uh, set the pace and set the style. And if he allows him to do this, he's going to have a very, very difficult night. Um, Ellis's strength is to move and punch and punch hard. And he's just not able to do it at the moment because Lang is is just too smart for him. He's, that's got his big punch. Lang's, Lang's boxing with that wild right hand. Lang's good punch is the left. It's left jab and left hook from, uh, from the champion. And that's the punch that Lang's really got to worry about. Ellis has really got to worry about. All right, step back, step back, don't punch. But watch your hitting close again. Heads are getting pretty uh, close in there as they uh, fight at close quarters. Up comes uh, Lang again with that left hand jab. Ellis is just not doing enough at the moment and falling into the style of uh, the fight that Lang wants him to fight. And the uppercut from Lang certainly scored in close there. Here comes Lang at him again, closing the fight up. And Ellis, at the moment, uncertain as to how to handle this very tricky and difficult opponent. He won't let him go. He's got Ellis's left glove claim. He will not let him go. And the referee pushes them apart. You're both wrestling and close and holding. Okay, we'll do 25. Step back and box. He's calling both of them as holding, but I think Lang's the one that's doing most of it and doing it pretty cleverly. Left into the body by Lang. He's... Here comes Ellis now. Left and right to the head. And Ellis goes with the left hook. By golly, this is what back, Lang back, doesn't back, want his opponent back. to be able to do. To punch at him with both hands. And that's the style of fight that, Ella, that Lang is doing. That left hand into the body. Up close he comes to Ellis again. Only once now in the fight so far has Ellis been able to get loose and fight at range. They're both exchanged. It's pretty rugged in there. Uh, Lang's, uh, <laughs> yes, Lang's uh, fighting it uh, very difficult to get past uh, Ellis's uh, left jab. Here comes uh, Lang again at Ellis. Ellis back in the ropes. Hooked that time by by Lang. In goes Lang, throws that right hand, keeps Ellis back on the ropes. Come on, all right, step back, step right back, step right back, right back. Ellis looking fairly relaxed back against the ropes that time. Comes in with a good right hand. Step back, step back, step right back, step right back. Chin as he came in. Push him, when you push him, you come over your head, Tony. Once more, I'll take a point off. Yes, they heard the warning there that if he comes in with his head like that again, the referee will instruct the uh, judges to take a point off. Jab now by uh, Tony Lang. Ellis back to the ropes once more. Bell for the end of round three. Just once, but he certainly did it. Well, I, th I thought uh, I thought that he uh, he lost that round because he was uh, falling into the trap of uh, mixing it with the uh, uh, the Englishman, and uh, I think uh, perhaps that uh, the weight loss today might have been seconds uh, out. The, the round problem with him uh, not feeling so successful with himself. Well, he bounced into the ring so confidently and so aggressively that uh, I thought it was. Uh, this was going to be Alice's night, but he's doing it pretty hard at the moment because this very uh, English champion is making it difficult for him to score the points that he needs and makes it even more difficult for him to get the room to punch the way that Alice needs to punch to finish the fight inside the distance. Alice getting a reprimand for pulling his opponent in. Laying it on top of Alice. Jennifer, come on. Mr. Ellis waiting for the lead, looking for a counter punch. He doesn't, he can't, can't fight that, can't fight that way with Tony Lang. He's got to be the aggressor and be on top. Oh. Here comes Ellis, that was a better left hand. Takes the fight up to his opponent, jabs again. Oh, come on. Punch him, come on. All right, step Blaming Ellis for pulling his opponent in. Watch those heads, boy. Come on. I'm afraid that the risk of a head clash here is very high with the way they're fighting. Very close together and a lot of movement in close. Most of it coming from Lang, of course, Ron, as he bores in and doesn't give Ellis that room. The bookies had Ellis at three to one on, but uh, I think Lang is surprising. Oh, step back, step back, step back. Yeah, Lang stays in close to Ellis. That, that's the tactic uh, that Lang is using. In close. 
Uh, I'm sure that Lang's heard that uh, Lesto's had to lose some weight, and as you can see through the fight, he's laying in on him and uh, getting him into the clinches, and therefore, if you've had to lose some weight, uh, you tend to become a little tired after a while. And this could be the, the tactics of the Englishman. Ellis trying hard to go to the body with both hands, but uh, now he goes with a left rip to the body, following that right to the head. Oh, good trip with the punching now by Ellis, and a left hand counter by Tony Lang. Okay, step back, step back, step back. Watch your close. There was a bump then. No damage done, though, I don't think. Left hook that time by Tony Lang. This is developing into a hard, tough fight now. Both on, come on. Keep at it in close. Push with your shoulder again, Tony. Referee encouraging them to try and uh, fight uh, loosely and uh, not to uh, get too close with their heads. No holding and they go on with it. Left into the body by uh, Lang, hooked by Ellis. Lang's defence, a good right hand by Ellis that time, got through the defence. And uh, Tony Lang claims him. Lang jabbing at Ellis, puts him back towards the ropes. Lang in close, uppercuts with that right hand, left into the body by uh, Lang. Lang missed with his right hand, but had enough balance left to score with a left hook almost going past his opponent. Bell for the end of round four. Tony Lang managing to get incredibly low and keep his balance on, and, uh, and of course that's avoiding a lot of Ellis's. Uh, punches and he's just doing exactly Stop that coming him. back up getting in the clinch and doing the work inside he's learned quite a few tricks through his amateur and professional career Tony Lang and he's using them all tonight now Alice frustration again pulls him off you're resting again both as you fight all right okay step back box and the little left hand went in as they were that time punch by Alice well we thought he was going to be right on the button with that one I just missed and it's uh, Tony Lang's. No doubt that Tony Lang's best is the left. Left, whip, uh, left hook or left jab. Left hook that time by Ellis. Come on, punch up in over in the corner, calling to Lang to stay up close. Stay in close to him. Come up, come up, come up as he signal all the time. And he's doing just that, forcing Ellis back onto the ropes. Right, step back, don't punch, don't punch, don't punch. And the referee has to get them apart once more. Big right hand that time by Tony Lang. He wasn't boxing with that one. Into the body goes Lang again. Ellis unable to score good clean scoring punches. Although he got a good left one through that, a good left hand through that time. And the bell for the end of round five from Tony Lang has been fantastic and uh, he just seems to be able to stay there. Good tactics, John. It's very reminiscent of the fight that uh, Barry Michael put up with up uh, against Leicester uh, in 1985 and uh, I, I just wonder whether uh, the Leicester camp have learned Second from that down. lesson because round he's six. certainly bustling uh, Alice uh, through each round. Well, I think it's getting, uh, getting a little bit serious now for uh, Leicester Ellis because we're in round six and uh, really he hasn't been able to exert the authority that he should have been able to if he's going to take this title boy. tonight. Come on. Good two-fisted punching by Ellis that time, but very quickly Lang gets up to him. Ellis attempting to go with both Watch hands again. But Tony Lang is staying in close, get away, get away, get not on. letting Ellis right, get, back, back, get back, a shot up. at him. Punch up there, let's a bit low. Here goes Lang once again at the body. Ellis trying to push him away. Lang stays up, up wrestling, wrestling with him. Step back, step back, don't punch. Box. There goes Alice now, trying to get those gloves through. Good left hand into the body. And a left hand counter that time by Tony Lang. The referee quick this time to get uh, a break there with Lang once again hanging on to Ellis's arms. We've seen him doing this a lot during the fight. Here he comes in again. Ellis, Lang's not showing any sign of, uh, of uh, lack of confidence now. He's we're well balanced and uh, pretty much in control of uh, what he's doing. Well, he's fighting his sort of fight, Ron. Very much. He comes up to uh, Ellis again. Ellis is claimed and the referee gets them apart. Hard into the body that time by Ellis. And uh, he has landed some good body punches, but uh, not enough of them to cause any distress to Tony Lang. Ooh, a bump of heads, and that was a bad one. 
left that time by Lang. Ella stays in close and Lang hits him with a right hand in close to score again. Left hook this time by uh, Tony Lang. Ellis must become the aggressor oh, step back, shortly. Step back, step back, step back. Over the body by uh, Ellis. Ellis, that's good punching by Ellis. Nice, nicely on the spot. Hooked that time by Ellis again. Making Lang miss, but not coming back himself. They're waving those heads around. Left hand jab by Ellis. That was a good one. Hard right hand by Lang in close that time. And Lang evens the score with a right. Left into the body that time by Ellis. Oh, Alice hurt him for that right. It was a good punch. But Lang just stays in place. Safety. Just a touch of blood coming from the nose of Tony Lang right now. Jennifer, watch Tony. close. The referee allowing them to Jennifer, sort Jennifer, themselves out. Come on, Les. Up comes Lang. Alice hits him with the right. Get him, get him, come on. Lang. Step back, close. step back, step back. You push him with his in your head again, you right? Box. Referee, Referee working over time. Reprimanding him for getting that head in close because there will be damage done sooner or later as they wave their heads around in place. The bell goes. End of round six. Uh, one. Uh, and it did in that round, John Famishon. Yes, uh, certainly uh, not a uh, serious one, but uh, it, uh, at this stage I find that uh, Lang is, uh, has got the points over the last uh, three rounds. I was generous uh, to Leicester in that particular round, the, uh, the sixth, by uh, giving him a draw. But at this seven. stage, Lang is in front. Well, jo uh, Leicester Ellis has the job ahead of him. Here they come now for round seven. John Famishon has scored... Lang in front at this stage, and Lang goes confidently with, with both hands to the body. Alice backs away. Tony Lang comes after him. Tony Lang is not going to surrender this title easily. If Alice wants it, he's going to have to take it hard. Left hand jab now by Alice. Watch him, Jimmy Punch, Tony. We're into the championship half of the contest now, the second half, the tough half. Right into the body by Lang. Lang taking the fight up to Ellis at a little bit of range now, not closing the fight up too much. Left hand jab by Ellis, and uh, obviously that will remind Lang that he's got to close the fight up. And in that range, Ellis looks all right. Right to the head by Lang, and he's in there and stays close. Step back, step back, step back. Two minutes to go in the seventh round. Good right hand by Ellis. That was a good punch. The corner men for Tony Lang beckoning to him to come up close. Ellis fighting strongly off the ropes then. What's that head there, Tony? Step back, 